Hello Darklings, my name is Sonnies and it's time for going through my wardrobe again and this time I'm going through Sheen but I'm gonna split it into two parts so this is part one of Sheen but first we take the intro and see you soon. Hello Darklings, my name is Sunnis and I'm from Sweden and it's time for going through my wardrobe again. And this time is part one of two with Sheen because my Kilsta one was a little too long. But why I go through, if you're new here, I had did a gastric bypass a little more than four months ago. So that means that uh, my sizes have changed a lot. And we're gonna start with this one because I already have it on and it's a 4XL and it's actually a bodycon one <laughs> and as you can see it's not bodycon anymore it's very loose but this one I use as a 90 so I'm gonna keep it so it's still gonna be an up so now we're gonna go to next next dress I'm gonna show is a 3XL and I think people, if you have followed me for a while, you do recognize this one. And I think it's a really cute one. It has just normal sleeves and this in the front. So we're gonna try it now. So now it's on, it's 3XL. And as you can see, it starts to sit uh, very loose on me. But I think this one can still work if you put a belt on it. I'm not gonna use any accessories this time because it's mainly for showing the sizes so you have to imagine how it could look like but this still be able to use because it's still not too big in the upper part so this is the keeper still so next item is a 3xl2 and it's this black one it's a normal arms on it but it got this lacing in the front so we're gonna try this one on too so now I got this one on and as you can see it's a bit loose too and you see this area start to go up but I think I still can get away with it especially if I wear a belt but this is also a comfy thing to use with leggings so you don't have to use it as a dress and the structure of the fabric is like this you know that so even if it's there I'm gonna keep it. Next one is a dress in velvet that is 4XL and it has this uh, mesh arms with this little finish on it. It's more just like a plain, nothing special. So we're gonna try this on and see how that goes. So I'm back with this dress and as you can see the arms here but they have always been a little bit short. Now they don't look as short, but that is because the dress is not staying where it should. <laughs> you see, it's way too big and it's gonna glide me off me if I don't put something. But I, I'm not sure it's gonna stay even with a belt in there because if those glides a little more, you can choose to wear it like this. But then my arms, <laughs> you see, they're a little bit too short. And if I put it like that and they are long enough, I risk to drop it so this is actually gonna be my first real not gonna keep it I forgot to mention that it's way too big in my waist too so it's not sitting as it should do so, so if my waist should be proper this is where how much more I should be so it's not the right placing for that bit either so that don't save up the situation so I'm back with another velvet dress and it's also 4XL and it's this cute one with the bats. I do hope it still works because I think it's cute and it's had those uh, 
little bell sleeves kind of like things. So we're gonna see how it goes with this one. So I'm back with this dress <laughs> and unfortunately you can probably already see <laughs> it's not. It's too big, it's too big, it's too big, way too big. You know, here is my waist, here is my waist. So even if I don't push the seam here, it's way too big. And I'm actually gonna drop this if you, you see. You don't need much to go off. <laughs> so it's way too big for me. So sadly, this cute little bad dress is gonna be a not keep. And I'm back with a 3XL this time. And it's this dress, more simple, but it have this pentagram type of star with some little type of fishnet in it. So we're actually gonna try this one and see how that goes. So I'm back with this dress and I forgot to mention that the arms is actually looking this way. Even if it's simple in the end. But it's mesh, stretch, stretchy mesh. And as you see you have the pentagon here. And I have the waistline here so it's actually a bit big to me too. So this one can be saved by a belt. So... I might give it a try, but it's a little like this because I haven't directly reached for this one. But you never know. I might use it. Or maybe next time I go through everything, I might give it away. So, yeah, I think I can still keep it. So I'm back with this baddie one and it's 4XL. So, I'm gonna have to see how it goes. and it, have this thing you're gonna tie up here and they always go up for me but it's nothing gonna lose or drop because they actually sew in place but you need to do the little thing with it so we're gonna try this one and see how it goes so I'm back dark wings I did tie the bows but they're supposed to sit up here but you see this dress is not gonna stay it's way too big for me, so this is a go. I can't go around and keep it up, <laughs> so no, it's not gonna stay. I'm gonna see if I can keep this up and still be decent <laughs> because it's gliding down all the time. But next is actually 4XL2 and it's more like a tunic with this print. And I do love the print. So we're gonna see how that fits. So I'm back with this tunic and as you can see it's, it's really big and it's not exactly good to put any belt on it but you see the stars get, go a little long but because it's a tunic I think I still can use it but I'm probably gonna put something else under because it starts to glide so if this gap goes a little bigger so then it's gonna go off but right now it's here but I'm still gonna keep it. By the way, I just changed my mind. I'm not gonna keep it because I was thinking it's not gonna look good with something under and if it's that type of season when I'm gonna use because my arms is out here. <laughs> so it's way too big for me. So it's actually gonna be that. You see how easy I can change my mind? This one, the size tag actually disappeared on, but it have this type of uh, Knitting type of things when you do holes and drag it through and tie it in the end. And uh, it has those bell sleeves too. So we're gonna see how it fits, but I don't know the size. It's either 3XL or 4XL, I'm not sure. So I'm back with this one, and now it's tickling my nose. So I hope I don't sneeze. But you see this have the bell sleeves, and you see this have this opening. It's maybe a little too daring because it's pretty big and it's nothing I can put together but it don't have any waist line but I think this one can be saved by belt or something at least so I think you're gonna keep it I'm not sure if it's centered <laughs> it's a little hard to tell but you see it's very airy and flowy but with a belt, I think it's still 
can be variable. <laughs> Darkwing, I changed my mind again because I can't get this bit to sit proper because it's way too big for me. Because as you can see, the sleeve starts here and there's a bit out. It's a little sad because I do like these type of things, but it's actually not that hard to make them. And if you watch Angela Benedict, she have videos to show how to do this type of thing. But this part should be a bit smaller to look better on me, even if, if I don't mind to show my bra and that type of things through. But it's still a little bit too big for me, so it don't look okay-ish, because this area looks a little ridiculous, I think. So I'm gonna do this. Next dress is this famous back one, 3XL. And it's nothing special with the arms, but it has this little hole in the front around the bust area. So we're gonna try it on and see how it goes. So I'm back with this baddy dress and here you can see the little keyhole, what did you call it? And the arms is just regular arms, it's nothing special. This is very modest dress and here is an arm. But as you can see it's a bit big. If I take this side in, so you still have this bit too big. And I'm, I'm a little forward or backwards, should I keep it? I have used it and I think I like it because it's a little more decent when you go to some other places. And I think this one can be saved with a belt, without problem. So, hmm, I keep it for this time. Next is a tunic in 4XL, and it's with this print, and it's short sleeves on it, and some lacing. And I hope you can see the print with the cats. And I think it looks adorable. We're gonna see how it goes with this one. So be back soon. So I'm back with this one too. And as you can see, it's really big on me. And it's nothing you can put uh, about on either because of the print, because then you're gonna destroy the effect. Even if I tighten this one, you can see it's way big because here you got the arms. But uh, I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's very comfy and during summer days, when it's hot, you don't like things to cling to your body all the time. Especially if you need to go for some exercise walking or something. So, it's a little in that zone again, but I still think I'm gonna keep it. Be back soon. And now we're back with one of my favorites when it comes to little thicker ones. That is actually a 3XL. And on the back side it actually has those strings. And it's both in mesh with another fabric under. I'm not sure if you can see the back print on this one. I think it's really pretty. And the arms is with bell sleeves and transparent. But the rest of the dress is not. So we're gonna try this on. I'm a little sad now, dark wings. But at first, I'm gonna show those incredible bell sleeves with a bad sea mesh. But the thing that makes me sad is because I realized something. Not just this big in the waist, so it's not where it should be, even if it goes closer than some of the other ones. But I realized when this started go, it might glide off. And this one is not made for being off shoulders. <laughs> so you see, I can lose this one. This made me very sad because I do love this one. It's so pretty and it's very flowy. And like you can see, you have one thicker part and then you got the same mesh like you have in the arms. So it's actually going. I'm very sad now. Very, very, very sad. I wish I could keep it, but if it's not stay on the top, so I'm not gonna get bigger now. So. What should I do? So now it's time for the last piece in this uh, section of sheen because I'm gonna do another one so it's not gonna be too long video and this is actually a bodycon in 3XL and it's with stripes. I do already know the result but I want to show you so I'm gonna change so be back soon. 
So I'm back with the last one. It's a tree XL with ordinary arms. And as you can see, it's got to be a little big up here. And remember that I said it's a bodycon. And this is how it sits on me right now. <laughs> it's not clean at all. But the thing that makes the problem, if you look at this area here, they have done some strange sewing in this area. So it goes up, go out like bombs on my side. It looks ridiculous, but I don't have anything in it. So if you're flattening it out, you don't, see, I don't have anything. But because they have sewn these things, <laughs> very strange, you see? See the bump there? I'm gonna flatten it. So actually, I, I should need more curves. You see, it's go out here. I'm here. I need to fill it up this way. So even if it's a bodycon in Trixel, this is way too big for me. So it's actually going to be not keeping it. And like I said, this was the last one for this time. It's got coming another part with sheen. So I hope you're going to like that too. And if you're new here, like my type of content, I do a lot of different type of things. You can go and watch my channel. And if you like it, consider to subscribe. At the same time, press the notification bell so you don't miss anything. For old darklings and returners, love, love, love. You do the best for me. And don't forget, forget to give me likes and comments. Of course, I love reading comments, but... Please be nice. You don't have to be rude. If you don't like something, swipe away. It's easy. Just to click away. And else, stay safe, stay weird, and be nice to each other. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Bye.